Hey guys, it's Rachel. In today's video, I want to share with you a very, very springy uh, makeup look. And I am titling this a family appropriate Easter inspired makeup look because it has a lot of pastel-y colors. It's light, it's springy, and I would totally be okay with wearing this in front of my family. One thing that I will mention is that I was at home for spring break this past week and I accidentally left my like nice mirror that normally sits um, like right here in my videos. You guys can't see it, but it's what I look into. So until either my family visits me or I have a chance to go back home, I am stuck using like a little handheld mirror. This is my e.l.f. blush palette. Uh, so if I'm like sometimes going like this, I am extremely sorry. I'm going to do my best to work on that and try not to, but I'm still getting used to it. So and I'll give you a heads up so you know why I'm doing if that. If you would like to see how I got this light and fun springtime look, then just keep watching. So I already have my face finished. For that, I used the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation in Porcelain as my foundation. And then I went in with the CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Concealer. I think that's just the name, the CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Concealer in the shade Creamy Natural. And then I set everything with the CoverGirl Clean Oil Control Pressed Powder in Classic Ivory. Now, I'm going to be taking my Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer, and I am just going to be priming my lids with this. And I'm sorry if I'm looking in the viewfinder more than usual. As I mentioned, my mirror, my nice mirror is at home, so sometimes it might be difficult to use this one. So if I'm looking in the viewfinder periodically, that is why. And then I am going in with a cream shadow stick. This is the e.l.f. Waterproof Shadow Liner in Taupe. And it's just like a shimmery, taupey champagne color. Now mine is broken, so I might have some difficulty applying this to my lids, but it still works. It's just it somehow managed to fall out of the casing. And I really want to focus this on the um, lid, but I can also drag it up a bit. Now I'm going to start in with the eyeshadows. For this look, I'm using the Balm's Balm Jovi Rockstar Palette, and I'm going to take the color Adagio, and I'm going to use this as a brow bone highlight. Then I'm going to take just a regular crease brush, and I'm going to make a combination of Allegro, sorry, Allegro and Adagio just so it's a bit lighter and I'm going to lightly rock this into my crease. I don't want it to be too intense. I can also drag this down just lightly on the outer half of my eye. Then I'm going to take a clean brush and I am going to dip into the color Third Eye Blinded which is a light pinky champagne -y mauve color and I'm going to place this on the inner uh, half of my eye. I'm just going to really layer this. Then I'm going to take that same brush and flip it over and go into the color REM, which is a light shimmery purple. And I'm going to pick some of that up, tap off the brush, and apply that to the outer part of my eye and just overlap it a little bit into the pink. Not a ton, but a little bit. And then to marry those two colors together, I'm taking just a clean flat shader brush and I'm dipping into the color Iron Maiden, which is a light goldy kind of shade. I don't want a ton of this, but I'm just going to take this and wiggle it between the two colors. And then the last thing I'm going to do as far as like a lid shadow goes, I'm going to take another flat shader brush and dip into the color Moderato, which is a deep plummy matte shade. And I'm just going to pick up the teeniest, tiniest little bit of this and put it on the very bottom part of my outer corner just to deepen it up a hair. Oh, I'm sorry. I was completely out of frame for that. Basically, all I did was just wiggle my brush on the outer corner just to make some definition. Then for my lower lash line, I'm going to mix my brush in um, a third eye blinded, that light pink, 
and then Allegro, that matte medium tone brown. And oops, drop the palette. And then I'm just gonna mix those two colors together and smudge that along my lower lash line. And then finally, for some liner, I'm going into the shade Presto with a small angled liner brush. Presto is just a very, very deep matte brown. And I'm going to place this into my lash line to give it a liner-like effect. Now, to finish off my eyes, I'm going to first curl my eyelashes with my Revlon Eyelash Curler. I'm then going to be mixing two different mascaras. I'm sorry, I live in a dorm and someone just put a shelf down in the shower. Anyways, I'm gonna be mixing two different mascaras. I'm first using my Maybelline, the Mega Plush Volume Express, which I really do not like this mascara very much, but I'm trying to use it up and that is why I am using it in conjunction with my favorite Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. So I'm just gonna put this on first and then top it off with the Jordana one. And then I'm also gonna pop the Jordana mascara onto my bottom lashes as well. Now that my eyes are done, I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. Uh, first off, I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit using my Laura Geller Baby Cakes Big To Go palette. And on the inside, I am using my Balance and Bright, er, Bronze and Bright and Medium, sorry. And I am just going to take that on a nice fluffy uh, powder brush. I'm just gonna swirl my brush in it, tap it off, and then lightly warm up my face. I'm not going for like a contoured look, but rather just something light and warm. And then on the same brush, I'm going to go into my e.l.f. Studio, uh, Studio uh, Blush Palette in light, and I'm using this light, kind of, almost bubblegummy pink. And I'm just going to place this on the outer part of my cheeks. Okay guys, I'm sorry, my camera died, but I'm back now with new batteries so we can finish up this look. What I was doing right before it died was I had been about to go in with my e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic as a highlight. This is a super nice, soft, and slightly shimmery highlight, and I am just going to apply this to the very, very tops of my cheekbones. And then I'm also going to put just a touch down the nose and between my eyebrows. The final part of this look is lipstick, and I'm using this lipstick by e.l.f. I'm pretty sure it's from their $1 line. I'm not sure of the exact name of the particular line of lipsticks, but I will leave a little um, annotation or something here saying what this particular lipstick is, but the shade is in Gypsy. So this is the finished look guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I think that this is an awesome, very springy and wearable take on makeup. I'm really sorry about the whole issue with the mirror and sometimes it getting in front of my face. I promise that I will do my best to get better at that. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time guys. Bye!